Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial on using the Fluid Simulator with an animated object. I'm A1 Sirius. I have prepared a file and if you have followed uh, with the, the previous two tutorials in, in number one and number two or episode one and two of, of um, Blender Physics Fluids, you'd know that um, we have just baked a fluid simulation. I have an, a fluid object up here and or actually the resulting uh, fluid simulation of it and an obstacle down here and I'm just going to play this for you in in wireframe mode we can actually uh, play it in uh, solid mode if we want to Let's play it backwards here it's kind of fun to watch that and um, see that and I would like to just look at this from the rendered viewport and uh, this means that now I'm holding down my alt key and my left mouse and actually moving this thing in in this is rendered now and you can come closer and like this so it takes a while for the uh, CPU to have time to come back up and I'm using the final viewport display here for the fluid but uh, this is actually pretty cool. You can you can look at your simulation uh, in render mode, even if it takes a little while. It gives you a pretty good idea of how you know how things are in it. But I go back to uh, solid because it's much quicker than it was follows instantly. So I just wanted to to show that part that you can use that. Uh, rendered mode in, in your viewport to actually improve on your you know your um, say maybe your camera settings or whatever it is that you would like so here we have this this same type of scenario that we had had before we have you know a fluid that drops into a, a bowl and the bowl I can just go into edit mode and show you what it looks like that's the type of uh, object you have so there's nothing new here except for now we have I'll select you can always click on the like the domain any any part of that mesh will open up the domain um, so um, maybe I should create a new directory here for this bake here so we call it um, uh, animate bake So there, and that's just empty now. And I've given this a material that is. Uh, uh, look at that material. Where, uh, we can go into frame wireframe mode, so we we can see that we still have this scene here. And I'm just using a ray trace transparency. Um, and that's about it. Nothing spectacular, just to make it look a little bit more fluidy. Um. And of course, what we want to do now is we want to animate this bowl here so and 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 bake the simulation. Okay, yes, we do have so I want to make sure that we got uh, uh, everything in our fluid domain the way you want it. Yes, it's the animate bake there, and we probably want to increase this to let's say 120, something like that. And have some smoothing going on more smooth that's a lot of smooth you can have five as the maximum but um, this is going to take more time so I probably need to pause and then come back but um, what I would like to do uh, is that I know now let's do this let's make sure we get the timing right temp we have temp there so that's the previous bake and I want to know okay somewhere there I have still droplets in the air so now this is time when I want to jerk this thing I want to just jerk it up real quick and tilt it and get all kinds of fluid motion happening then so I by making this bake I, I, I know what my timing is and then I can say okay well I'm not going to use that bake I'm going to use or I'm going to bake to to this uh, new directory and at about 35 seconds 
or 35 frames, sorry, 35 frames. Uh, we can actually do it at 30 frames, I think. Um, there, I am going to animate this here. So I press I and the uh, location rotation, that's all I need really. And then at um, just five more frames. After that, I'll push this up real good, like all the way up to there. So it's gonna accelerate this thing quite a bit. Uh, and uh, then press I for that, location rotation. And then a little bit further, I would like to rotate that around, around the Y axis, R, Y, 90 degrees, like that. And press I and uh, location rotation. And we can look that in the animation. Look here. So we can see first I'm first this I make this Z direction jump and then I rotate this real quickly in along the Y axis. So that's all I did here with this obstacle. Um, so we can just play that just as it is. You can see whoa like that. Not award-winning perhaps, but it serves our purposes. So then, now when I've done this, I'll turn to the uh, domain and I would like to bake this. And it starts to bake and uh, let's just pause and come back. And we are back. And uh, what we have here is I'm not quite done with this bake. We can play it as it's baking. And as you can see, I'm jerking this thing up and um, turning it over to pour the liquid out. And uh, here we have remnants of the liquid kind of drooping off. Uh, and uh, this takes a while and I'm not sure that I'm not going to I'm I'm not even going to let it run its final course here as a matter of fact we'll just uh, do this view this from from the side here and um what we can do is like okay maybe this maybe this is a problem there's too much residual liquid in this and of course now this is in kind of slow mo because it um because I only have four seconds of simulation over 250 frames. So I could just uh, run this up to where it's at and say, let's see how far we've gone to like 220. Is that it? Two sixteen. Let's just quit it right there. Okay, so that's it. I quit it in, in the middle of it, you know, which means it's going to be frozen there. But I could also just say, oh, I'm just going to uh, have two hundred frames. So you can kind of slice and dice this, you know just the way you want it. You don't have to, you know, if you're unhappy with your results, you can just, you know, um, cut it or, or, or just, you know, ab abort the bake and say, well, you know, I think that's sufficient. Uh, and if you're happy with the timing of things, then, you know, that could work just as well. So you, you have a certain amount of freedom with, you know, the, the time that you have the simulation time and the number of frames and as I said you can kind of slice and dice that you know in, in any way you want so that you can get the timing results that you desire and you still will have your bake and you can still you know render it um, so if we just play this up here then we'll, this is what we'll get and you see all the liquid you know just keeps pouring and now one thing we can do is we can go to rendered 
and here here's what that looks like in rendered mode and of course since that allows us to you know change our viewing position you can get a better feel for what it is that you're actually you know working with and it takes a while for it to to actually render but this is an ex excellent tool in you know actually working with your model mm, visually and seeing you know how you want to is this a result that I like and uh, and uh, do I want to work further with this or do I want to you know change my entire setup or what have you so uh, uh, we'll go back to solid mode and and play that and we can in this in this we can shift to to rendered and that's going to be a little bit more of a problem it as you can see it, it plays through but the render doesn't can't keep up so so here we came back to frame 35 and that's where the render was at that time and but in this frame I can now you know move around I can maneuver navigate in in 3d space like this okie doke I think this is this is it for this. All I wanted to show is you change the position of um, or you know, animate obstacles, and that will have an immediate effect on the the bake, and then you can render uh, as you please. And and uh, maybe I should just um, show this this previous result here when I made this flash last time just to see this is a, and we have the same thing here you get that residual fluid on on it and you see all these really interesting shapes from the fluid and this is an animation that is done in the fashion that it's first it's um, it's rendered to stills this one here so you have a series of stills and then you bring that into your your video video editor as an image strip and then you animate uh, then you render that to video so So that's it for this particular tutorial and I hope this was helpful in, in getting you started on animating your obstacles and, and also getting accustomed to you know the all the feature or um, all the problems really or, or, or things to take into account when you simulate fluids because you know you 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 will have certain aspects of the physical fluid and then how that is resolved in the mesh that's created and that will take and you know usually takes a lot of time to figure out what settings you need to use and how maybe avoid certain scenarios that could cause uh, you know problems with you know a mesh that is not quite what you want to to have so anyway thank you for viewing and um, i hope this was helpful thank you and goodbye